Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we finally have the info for Summer Mim. So I'm going to give my thoughts about her, read what she does, do all that good stuff. If you end up liking this video, leave a like. Tell me what you feel about Summer Mim in a comment below. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more videos in general. So, I think it should be said before I do anything is that I really like Mim. She's uh, my favorite character in the entire game. So as such, I will always really like Mim. So no matter what she does, know that going in is that I'm a really big fan of Mim and I will always find the positives. I'm not someone that's going to go, ah, that's just the way I am. So if that bothers you, you're going to have to look somewhere else. So, uh, but yeah, Summer Mim, starting off, she is a shadow. Funny enough, she is also a dragon drive character and she is a mana caster. All things I said she would probably end up being and how they would end up doing it. It makes sense for her to be a Dragon Drive character because that is the only way for her to be... Um, because she is a, uh, a... I was about to call him a worm, a dragon. She will always turn into a flame, the flame worm, Brynhilda. And how do you have a unit that is another element who also always turns into a giant fire dragon? Turns out, the answer is you don't turn him into a fire dragon, so she is a dragon drive, dragon drive character, so that allows her to be shadow. The mana caster thing was just me looking at shadow and going, what does shadow really need? They only have one of these, I bet she's this. So, not really a whole bunch of like thought into that one, but the dragon drive thing seemed to make sense to me at how they could do it. So, glad that they actually did it, because again... I want Mim on every single element, not just fire. I want it every single element. Water Mim, coming soon. So anyway, the flame worm hits the beach with a devilishly daring look to overshadow the summer sun, striking a pose with one of Shell's signature mana caster she's aiming for her darling's heart. So skill one, twin memory, deals damage to surround- she is also a, um, what is they called? A long range mana caster. So she's not the big shooty and she's not the big bursty, she's the long shooty. Uh, thank you for coming to my webinar. So skill 1 Twilight Memory deals damage to surrounding enemies, reduces their defense, inflicts shadow blight, and partially fills the user's dragon drive gauge if the attack connects. During dragon drive, it consumes some of the user's dragon drive gauge, deals damage to surrounding enemies, reduces their defense, inflicts shadow blight, and then fills 100% of the skill's gauge after use. Also power ups the user's standard attacks. The standard attack buff will also be lost automatically when the effect remaining time is depleted or when dragon drive is ended. So damage is 513 over 2 hits, 3950 skill energy required, defense minus 5%, lasts 10 seconds, shadow blight lasts 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, damage is 41, dragon drive energy gain is 300. Oh. Uh, one moment, sorry about that. Uh, during Dragon Drive, damage is 624 over 2 hits. Skill energy required is 3950, the same. Uh, special effects is the same, except for enhanced standard attack lasts 10 seconds. Shadow Blight lasts 21 seconds. No, it's all the same. And Dragon Drive energy consumed is 850. And a Midsummer Night's Blast deals damage to enemies in a line and grants the user a strength amp. Damage is 1,767 over one hit, and skill energy required is way too much at 9,855. I knew the second that this strength amp didn't have a limit on it whatsoever, that this thing was going to be huge in cost. Jesus Christ, man. And her co-op ability is Gauge Accelerator 20%, Chain co-op ability Shadow Dragon Haste 20%. Uh, abilities are Summer Sparks 2, grants the user a Dragon Drive gauge and changes the Shapeshift button into a Dragon Drive button. Tapping the button activates her Dragon Drive. Dragon Drive grants the following effects. The user's standard attacks are changed and fills the user's Dragon Drive gauge. If connect, the user's strength is increased by 25%. Paralysis resistance 100% and scroll prep is 100%. So she basically starts off with a free strength amp for herself right when she shoots it off. Actually, if you put her with other moves that give... Actually, are there any other moves that give a strength amp that aren't limited and can be shareable? Hmm. Worth looking into. At least if she is in the main slot. Uh, so yeah. Now let's actually talk about the unit itself. Mim. It's extremely hot. Alright, thank you everyone. This has been the end of the video. No, I'm kidding. 
Uh, except for I wasn't kidding, but that's not the end of the video. That's the part I wasn't kidding about. Anyway, the strength vamp, this move seems to deal perfectly fine damage. A lot of what she's going to end up being for a lot of other people is what people, other people are going to look at that don't care about Mim. What they're going to look at to see if she's a unit worth summoning for is to see how much she gains from being a dragon drive character doing basic attacks. Um, because... It, the reason it might be 9,856 might be that she just has insane SP gain once she goes to full Dragon Drive. Um, but it's kind of hard to know if how insane that stuff's going to be because they put out a video but all she does is like shoot off a, a giant heart into the sky. So people probably don't know at the moment. Uh, she is an attack unit so she's all about DPS. She inflicts Shadow Blade and a lot of her damage comes from actual DPS of it. So... I forget if there's a standard thing for Shadow, but I want to say there is it. I can't really recall them at the moment, so I'm going to say no. Um, but she's basically everything. The only thing I would have changed is that I would have given her the middle one, because those are my favorite type of mana casters, the ones that just hold down the force strike button and deal infinite damage. Um, long, the long cast one is the one I hate the most. Uh, might be just because Ilya was such a pain in the ass for me to get, and then when I used her, I'm like, this doesn't feel good at all. But hopefully I can change that for Mim and see how it feels. Uh, other than that, it's just kind of just like waiting. Let me tell you right now, based off of the kit that you've just read, you've already made your mind if you're going to summon or not. Are you going to summon? Chances are if you like Mim, you're summoning. It doesn't really matter. And it doesn't even matter because you get 10 free multis. So, whether or not you chase for the, um, the actual unit, it's up to you. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going for this unit. She seems perfectly okay, and then hopefully her Dragon Drive makes her insanely fast to Wicked Fast. I kind of like the way she's built as the moment of giving Shadow Blight a whole bunch, and the Strength Amp, if you can just get her the energy needed to kind of get up there. Um, I think she could end up being pretty solid. I don't know in terms of uh, end game content, I just know that I'll be using her and that's all that really matters to me. So, Also, the best dragons for her will probably end up being the same ones for other Dragon Drive characters, which is Melina. Um, so it would be something like, f uh, f uh, god damn it, what's the name of that Monster Hunter guy? Ferris? His name's not Fenrir because that's the wolf dude from Norse mythology. It's Fatalis, there you go. Got him. Uh, and the other one is off. obviously the most recent released uh, Nidhogg. She would be amazing with her. So those are the kind of things I'm going to say. But yeah, that's that's Mim. Can't wait to summon for her. I also ended up going back to get uh, Reborn Nidhogg the second I saw what kind of unit she was. Because honestly, I was hoping that she would just need uh, Arsene. Um, Arsene would work perfectly fine for her. But her best dragon is probably going to end up being Reborn uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a reborn Nidhogg, so I went back and I got him, so I'm ready for her, and I'll be doing a summon video next time, so until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out!